How are you guys doing? It's pretty cold over here and there's lots and lots of snow. We still have continued sickness. My kids are just, it's like one after another. I feel like every week there's something. So is that happening to anybody else or is it just me? Yeah. Welcome to Love Above All with Brandis. And my mission is to inspire you to love yourself, know yourself, share yourself with others for God's purpose without any shame or blame, just being who you are. That's a mission on my heart. If you want any information about my own journey, I have a video that you can go ahead and click. I'll go ahead and put the link below for that. Also, I'd love for you to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Love Above All with Brandis. I have a tremendous amount of fun over there and I love to inspire. So if that's something that interests you, please go ahead and head on over to Instagram. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about books that I like. This is something new that I'm gonna, I wanna start doing um, every now and then because I have a lot of books that I'm going to wanna share with you all. Absolutely love books, just like I love journaling. If you've been following my channel, you know I love journaling. And I also just love a good book. I just love to feel and touch and look at a book. So I have a room in my home that now I'm calling, you know, it was the formal living room, I'm calling it like our reading room now. I have a secretary um, old piece that I got on Craigslist a while ago for probably about under $200 or so. And that is where I'm choosing to store all of my books. And these books are extremely special to me, just like my journals because these books have been an inspiration to me and they have been present in my life for different parts of my life and they have furthered me along my own journey of self-improvement and healing and my relationship with God. Today I'm gonna go ahead and choose five books and maybe in a couple weeks I'll choose another five books and share those with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on my five books that I'd like to share with you today. Okay, so the first book that I have here is If You Want to Walk on Water, You've Got to Get Out of the Boat. And this is by John Ortberg. And I have, again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce all these authors right. But this book came to me at a very precious time, probably back in 2010. This is a time when I came to Christ and was really new to this new way of life because I feel like when Christ comes into your life then he starts to ask you, you know, he asks for all your pain and all your hurt and all your sorrow and he wants you to trade it in to do um, some interesting things, right? Some, some healing. He wants you to step out. He wants you to do things that you probably normally wouldn't do if you had not entered into relationship with him. But it was a very awesome book and it helped motivate you to really try to get out there and do those things that are scary and for for me personally to help me walk that walk I would highly recommend it to anyone that is wanting to step out and they need a little bit of motivation um, and inspiration to do so i think this is a really really good book the next book that i'd like to talk about is the maker's diet it's the 40-day health experience that will change your life forever and this is by jordan s rubin the forward was by Dr. Charles F. Stanley, and I'm pretty sure he's a pastor. Um, again, this book came to me at probably around 2010 also, probably around that way, maybe a little bit before. Again, I was just doing a reevaluation about myself and about my life and about how I wanted to feel. And so this book, although I didn't do the 40 day health experience per se following it on this book, it really had me evaluate my health. It had me evaluate what I was eating. Um, it really put in perspective for me that our body really is the temple of God and that if we want to be instruments in this world, that we need to really be filling our body with food that is going to give us energy and not take energy away. So I would say that this book really woke me up and started me on my journey where um, I went gluten-free and dairy-free, really stayed away from a lot of processed foods, and um, really limited my sugar as well. And so I was working with a naturopathic doctor at that time, and but it really helped me kind of revamp how I was eating and it helped me go in a good direction and really putting the appropriate foods in my body helped my body become strong. It helped me feel better. It eliminated a lot of 
you know, post nasal drip and inflammation and, um, you know, I was on antihistamines all the time. I was able to get off of those. So it really was the start to kind of just waking me up and helping me. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you again. As, as with any like health book, there's so many different, you get so many different perspectives and so many different um, people saying, well, this is the right way to do it, this is the right way to do it. So I would just caution you that if you do read this book, you just pick from it what you can and ultimately it's up to you to test your own body and to feel like, well, how do I feel best? Do I feel best eating this? Do I feel best eating that? And then evaluating and moving forward from that point. Number three, is called Experiencing God. And this is by Henry T. Blackaby and Claude V. King, How to Live the Full Adventure of Knowing and Doing the Will of God. And this was a great book for me to further understand what I think I was already experiencing at the time. Again, I think all these books came to me like probably in that 2010 mark, maybe not all of them, but several of these. And so this relationship, this kind of new relationship that I was feeling and experiencing with God and kind of being able to hear God and feeling that God had a bigger purpose for my life, this book further validated a lot of that. And I never like to put myself in a box, probably in anything. So you're gonna notice that these books might take different themes or different genres or directions. Number four, is Eat, Pray, Love. This is Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. One Woman's Search for Everything Across Italy, India, and Indonesia. And it was a New York Times bestseller about Elizabeth Gilbert's life, actually. And just her search, her search for peace, her search for inner peace. Um, she left something that wasn't working for her and it really just tracks her journey and things that she learns from people that she meets. And again, this book was amazing for me at the time that it came into my life. Again, around the 2010 mark, do you see a theme here? Um, basically, my husband had just finished his bar exam. He's a patent attorney and he finished his bar exam and after that um, and i had finished my master's maybe that was a year prior um, and after that we were going to go ahead and travel europe we did london paris and rome and i was reading this book while i was there and so there is a there is a point and it's pictured right here where she is in rome she goes to um, india and indonesia as well but I really felt like she, you know, this story was with me. So like reading it at the time while I was in Europe was, was amazing. I would highly recommend it. If you're still on the route of searching for inner peace and things of that nature. Last book, and this is a book that I'm currently reading right now. It's called, I can see clearly now. And this is by Dr. Wayne Dyer. And I have my lovely little bookmark which is Bryson, do you see Bryson? <laughs> Bryson is my three and a half year old and I can't get over this bookmark. This was a Christmas gift that his um, teachers had made and oh my God, isn't this adorable? But this book I'm about halfway through and you might see a lot of books that I have. I think I have several more from um, Dr. Wayne Dyer. He, he did pass and I'm pretty sure this was one of his last books. I'm not absolutely positive, but this was very special to me and this book came within my vicinity this year to start reading. And what this is, is basically, it is a perspective. He basically, it's, it's a biography and he kind of retells his whole life. And at the end of each chapter, he states, how he was able, how he's able to step, how he was able to, you know, step back, writing from his perspective later in life, and how he was able to kind of see God's hand working within that situation or whatever he was going through, and how everything that he had went through was always constantly preparing him for his destiny and for what it is that he was supposed to do. I would highly, highly recommend this book, and I am enjoying it so much. I'm on page 154 right now and there's about 367 pages, but I would definitely recommend this book. I get excited, I'll like sit by the fire and I'll, I'll read when I'm able to and we're like snowed in with all the snow that we've been getting. So it's a very, very enjoyable book that I would recommend to you. Thank you very much for sitting with me and listening to um, these books. I wanna do more videos like this where I can share different books with you. And I'm gonna go ahead and link below um, all of these books if you're interested in any of them. 
and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I plan to be back here next week um, with another video. Not sure exactly what it's going to be, but I will be back. Thank you so much for your support um, on my last video. I appreciate it so much. Please thank you for your support also on Instagram. Follow me there if you're not following me at Love Above All with Brandis. Subscribe, like, and share, and I will see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye-bye.